This is Akshaya Patra, the world's largest free school meal program. This kitchen alone makes enough biryani for 75,000 children daily. Across India, the foundation's 65 kitchens serve 2 million children every day in over 19,000 schools and has served over 3 billion meals since its inception in 2000, something which Vice Chairman Sri Chanchala Patidasa is very proud of. It's like feeding all of India three times. We visited a mega kitchen to see how they make vegetable biryani and mung dal payasam in such big batches. This mega kitchen is located in Bangalore, the capital of India's southern Karnataka state, and staffs 230 workers across three floors. We start on the top floor, where all of the food is cleaned, cut, and prepped. Every day, workers prepare the following day's raw ingredients, and then store the food in a cold room that can hold up to five tons of food. On an average day, we use about 25 ingredients in this kitchen. And one very important aspect in Akshay Patra is the menu design. Today's menu includes vegetable biryani, an Indian rice dish that the kitchen prepares with a mix of vegetables and a house blend of spices. Workers begin by running the crates of prepped vegetables through these cutting machines. So because we are preparing large quantity of food and we have to do it very quickly and we have to do it very cost efficiently, we extensively use a lot of technology. This batch of biryani contains tomatoes, green peppers, cabbage, carrots, potatoes, and squash. If you look at these uh, crates, every meal which goes to a child at least has minimum 50 gram of vegetable for a primary school child and uh, 75 gram of uh, vegetables for an upper primary school child. Alongside the vegetables, workers also portion and prepare rice for this dish. The rice is then washed thoroughly with water before it's cooked. On an average day, the kitchen can handle about 7 tons of grains and 5 tons of dairy. The washed rice and pre-cut vegetables then move through a chute that connects to the second floor. This simple use of gravity is one of the key components of this facility as it reduces the amount of manual labor and keeps things clean. The ingredients land into 51 of these stainless steel cauldrons, where the cooks use massive stirrers to mix everything together. Workers then close the lids and utilize a two-ton boiler that generates steam to cook the food. So biryani takes typically an hour to make, right from pre-processing to finishing it. And the cauldron, which you see here, can uh, you know, feed about 1,000 children. For food safety and cleanliness, the vegetable biryani is temperature checked and logged. And next to each cauldron, a small stainless steel vessel stores a sample of each batch, which is then tested 24 hours later for microbial growth. Once a week, children receive their lunchtime meal with a sweet treat. And here, moong dal payasam is being made. Moong dal payasam is a dessert, and children love dessert being youngsters. So each of these uh, cauldrons can handle about 1,200 liters of dal or lentils. 1,500 pounds of lentils drop down into each of the six cauldrons used to cook the dish.
Milk and raisins are also added for texture and creaminess. Finally, jaggery syrup, which is an unrefined natural sweetener made from sugarcane, gets stirred into the cauldrons. Typically, moong dal payasam takes about one and a half hours to one hour 45 minutes, right from boiling the moong dal till the final dessert is made. Once the vegetable biryani and moong dal payasam are finished cooking, workers transfer the dishes from the cauldrons into these carts, which are then taken to another large chute that connects to the ground floor. The food drops down, then gets portioned and packed into individual vessels for distribution. These are food grade vessels. Each of the vessels can handle food for about 85 to 100 children. And one of the important cornerstones of Akshay Patra is hygiene and safety. So you can see each vessel where food is going to be stored is getting washed or cleansed with steam. Then they're passed down a conveyor belt and get loaded onto Akshaya Patra's custom built buses called Buses of Hope. These are insulated vehicles which keep the food warm. Large quantity of food goes in each vehicle. Over a period of time, Akshay Patra has developed logistics ability. So, for example, from this kitchen, we have about uh, 32 vehicles. We handle about uh, close to 650 schools and we are feeding about 75,000 children every day, though the enrolled strength is about 110,000 children. And that is just a single kitchen. When you include the 64 other locations across India, they feed over 2 million children daily. It had a very modest beginning. We started serving 1,500 children in the outskirts of Bangalore City in the year 2000. And gradually, we saw there were more and more requests from the headmasters of the schools who would write to us and say, we see your vehicle carrying food pass in front of our school. Can you please stop and feed our children? And when we saw these requests, we kept increasing and scaling up our program. And that's how today in Bangalore City, we serve about 200,000 children. So how does Akshaya Patra get its funds to pay for all of the free food they provide? So we get a certain amount of support from the government. We top it up with some more money that we raise from individuals, and foundation to ensure that the meal we give to the children is hot, nutritious, safe, tasty, so that children are delighted to have a meal at noontime. Today, they serve 19,000 schools across 14 states and two union territories in India. Kitchen staff will create menus based on the students' preferences and feedback by area. For example, Akshaya Patra's kitchens in northern Indian regions can expect foods like roti or flatbreads. In southern India, rice is more widely eaten as a staple food, and the children love the rice-based dishes prepared by the foundation. Another important aspect of Akshaya Patra is we want to give what otherwise their mothers will give to them if they are at home and the mothers had resources. Of course, no one can replace a mother, but Akshay Patra tries to come as close to what a mother can cook. I like the You know, you cannot run a big program of this kind in a mechanical, official manner. All of the personnel involved in the Akshaya Patra program come with a deep commitment of compassion and kindness for children. And so it is that compassion that keeps us very highly motivated day after day to see that we do our tasks and duties with a lot of heart.